Hey guys, again. So this is the old pump just for to show you how I'm gonna do this. Uh, disassembled, put a little bit of goober of grease here. Never can't. So I put the o ring in there and I put um, silicone, silicone before it. I drop the, the o ring in it. And now we're gonna show you. I put a little bit of silicone in there too. Make sure that it doesn't get in, inside of the um, tube as well. Some grease there too. Okay. One, two, okay. So. Start. Start the O ring first, and where the O ring goes, then easily slide it in and set it on place. Use a rubber mallet. Okay, voila. And then to to um, retain this in place, you can use a bolt in here with some washers, just for you to be able to push this again. So, okay, so I want you to tighten that up. Uh, make sure that you O-ring right with this open. You can actually see how the the O-ring is. Have to make sure the o-ring is someplace and you can wipe the extra silicone you got on the hole and then you can assemble the pump back together uh, make sure that you know dries nice and freely put some oil in it in here in the housing and then put start bolting it even back together okay so um, actually because uh, th this uh, pickup tube has a hole to retain the uh, the pickup tube in place which you can get a bolt, some washers, and put it on that side and make sure that tights up this against the pump, okay? Make sure that your O-ring is someplace and the, the silicone is not exposed. Uh, try to wait about four hours for the silicone to dry out, that way you, that way you don't lose suction and, uh, and uh, that way you know you know for sure that you got all pressure wow. one second guys <laughs> multitasking Well, you can see that as soon as you tighten the bolt out. Let's see. As soon as you tighten your bolt in there, it's going to go against this this lip here. Push it together, okay? Make sure you put some Loctite in there, and uh, that should be good. So we did a uh, uh, sending in it either way, but this just to show you. When you crank the engine, when you get uh, when you get ready to um, crank your engine again, make sure that you get oil coming out of here, and that will be a good sign that you get oil pressure. You get oil coming out of there, you can start your engine and make sure that you get fully operational oil pressure. Okay, okay, guys. Hope you like the video, and this will save you a ton of time.